I'm Dr. Benito Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. As you know, this entire channel has been dedicated to skin of color. The reason being that our skin is different to Caucasian skin. It behaves differently. Our melanocytes are larger. Those are cells that produce the pigment melanin, and those cells are easily triggered. As I always say, one scratch, one bite, or one burn, and we hyperpigment. This doesn't happen to Caucasian skin. Now, unfortunately, the vast majority of skincare was made for Caucasian skin, not for skin of color. And so, unfortunately, we tend to react and actually get more pigmentation from using products. And that's the reason why I created this entire channel. It's an evidence-based um, channel and we don't accept any sponsorship for any product recommendations. So you know everything is suitable for your skin. Um, if you are interested in skincare, specifically for skin of color, do make sure you get yourself a, your hands on a copy of Skin Revolution. It's available on Amazon and the link is down below. I published this with HarperCollins um, and it literally is my love letter to our global skin of color family. We go through all the ingredients suitable for skin of color, the mistakes that get made um, and all the different skincare conditions for you and for everybody, your whole family. Right, so today's video is all about fungal acne. So fungal acne is a relatively new term um, and it's become more prevalent after COVID because of wearing masks and having humid uh, moisture basically hitting the forehead area, which tended to mean more clogging of pores, which meant, led to more oil production, which led to acne and fungal acne but these are two separate conditions so fungal acne unfortunately does get misdiagnosed quite a lot and it gets treated as normal bacterial acne which actually can make the situation worse which is the reason why i wanted to make today's video right if that sounds good to you give me a thumbs up let's dive right in So first of all, what is fungal acne? Fungal acne is essentially a gro overgrowth of yeast. It's also known as Malassezia folliculitis. It's almost, it's basically an infection of the hair follicle. Now this can lead to small raised pimples and the skin can feel quite itchy and it tends to happen in areas where you tend to have sebum over production of sebum. So the forehead, for example. Um, this is very different to hormonal acne, which is caused by bacteria. When that happens, you basically have a clogged pore, you have overproduction of bacteria, which produces uh, free fatty acids, irritates the skin and forms a pimple. Now, on appearance, it actually looks different because fungal acne tends to be a cluster of similar size bumps in one area. So it tends to, for example, be on the forehead or just be a whole batch of, you know, 40, 50, 100 small little bumps um, that look similar size, are uniform and are itchy. Whereas with acne, bacterial acne, it tends to be one spot here, one spot there, different sizes, different colors and different phases. So it may be a live spot here, a red PIE mark here, PIH mark here, brown mark um, and different sizes. So it does tend to be more spread out and it's not itchy. Now, the fungus, the yeast, sorry, Malassezia, is basically nourished by oil. Whether the oil comes from your sebum or it comes from creams that you're putting on the skin or oils you're putting onto the skin, that's how it forms. Now, this is why you tend to get both fungal acne and bacterial acne in similar locations, i.e. here and here, your T-zone, um, purely because they're both related to oil somehow. Now, there are certain triggers that can happen. So for example, if you move to a humid area um, that's hot, that can lead to sweating and that can lead to fungal acne. Number two, if you have dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis, this is related to Malassezia folliculitis. So if you're scratching your head and then you're suddenly noticing bumps on your forehead, it's likely to be fungal acne. That's why the first question I tend to ask when you have uniform bumps is, is your head itchy? because if it is, these are connected issues. The next issue is personal hygiene. So if you're sweating a lot, you have to wash your face. So I would say, for example, if you're at school, um, then wash your face after the gym or if you've been wearing masks, because both these things lead to oil on the skin, which is basically a breeding ground for yeast. So for example, if you're at school, I would make sure in your bag you had a salicylic acid face wash um, just 0.5% is fine and I would just after the gym just quickly splash your face with water 
um, and put on a gel moisturizer such as Face Theory Super Gel um, and that will basically prevent any further sebum production um, and it contains niacinamide in it which helps to regulate sebum too um, but you're removing um, the oil from the skin. I'd also say avoid oil in your moisturizer, your skincare, and also in your cosmetics, because this is the other area, unfortunately, the vast majority of foundation are comedogenic and contain oil, their emulsions. So I would stick with powder foundations if you really want to wear foundations, but actually while you're treating your the fungal acne, I really wouldn't wear any any makeup because you're also spreading um, the infection around the face it's just it's not something I would I'd recommend so stay away from oils use gel based moisturizers we're coming out with an amazing range called Tria Blemish which is specifically for skin of color for acne red marks and brown marks and skin of color and that's got an AM and PM gel moisturizer um, so I just use the AM gel moisturizer from that because it contains niacinamide in it um, which will help uh, and also moisturize the skin simultaneously. So what do you do, Dr. V? What is the treatment? So first of all, you want to start off with your antifungal shampoo. And this is going to sound very strange, but you're going to apply it to the face as a face wash. Um, what I would do is I would leave it on for about 10 minutes and then wash it off. So it's got time for it to work rather than just putting it on and washing it off straight away. The one I love is Ketoconazole shampoo, or no, sorry, uh, Nizarel shampoo is the name of the brand. Um, so you're looking for 2%, basically 2% ketoconazole. Um, and you would do that, leave it, do that for about two or three weeks. At this point, um, it should pretty much have resolved if it was fungal acne. If not, it's worth seeing a doctor because you might need a cream version of ketoconazole where it's leave on all day. And so it's working all day long. Um, on alternate nights, I would use 2% BHA. So you can use, either use it from the ordinary or from Paula's Choice. And that's basically going to help mop up any excess oil on the skin. Uh, use your oil-free moisturizer, such as Super Gel from Face Theory, or you could use our AM or PM gel from Trio Blemish, which will come out in a few months. Um, I would change your mask regularly and wash your face after exercising with your salicylic acid. I would stick to a low sugar diet and minimize stress because these two things both worsen any skin condition. Not just fungal acne, literally everything from aging, dark circles, you know, eczema, everything worsens with stress and high sugar. Um, so try and steer clear of that. The next one is hygiene. So change your pillowcases and towels to prevent it spreading. If you do have an itchy scalp, please try and avoid touching the face. Um, because that is how it spreads. Don't forget to join our private Facebook group. It's a really safe space just to talk about your skincare issues. You can share photos and it's something that we can all help each other with. It's called Dr. V Sock Family, so please do join that. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram. I've got two accounts, Skincare by Dr. V and Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm also on TikTok, so that's Dr. Benita Rattan too. I'm here in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. So make sure you do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm actually here. Please do write down below any other videos you want me to make for you and I will absolutely do that for you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.